That's right, and we could have our sixth name tropical storm, Atlantic tropical storm, coming up within the next few days. I'll explain that in a minute, but first, let's get to that severe weather that we had for tonight. This viewer photo submitted by Peggy over in Beverly, Randolph County. A tree came crashing down on her garage there. Thankfully, she is okay. We did make sure of that, but a very dangerous situation when those winds come out of that outflow from the strong clustered storms that we saw once again for today, similar to yesterday. Yesterday, Harrison County dealt with those trees down across the region and flooded water. So we did have a flood warning, flash flood warning for Randolph County earlier today. Upshur County and Webster County also were included in that. They expired a little bit earlier than Randolph County. Randolph County, that flash flood warning expired right before the 10 p.m. hour. You can see why most of the storms have flattened out, dissipated. We do have some light drizzle left over in the area and it will take quite some time for that water to recede. So once again, just like last night, be careful driving if you have to head out for tonight. We do have one rogue cell in northern Webster County right now producing some lightning and another downpour. And, and remember, Webster County, as I just mentioned, did have a flash flood warning earlier today that since expired, but that doesn't mean that flooding cannot occur once again for tonight. So you really want to be careful. Try to avoid driving on those dark roads. It's hard to see any flooded roadways in the dark. As we zoom out of the picture here, let's get to what we have in store for the next couple of days. A lot of hazy, hot, humid air has been trapped in our region. No secret, we've been stuck in a heat wave with 90 degree temperatures or higher, low 90s, mid 90s at times for the past seven days days and things really aren't changing. In fact, that humidity continues to crank up as we go into tomorrow and I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's get back to that tropical system. We have this X here that could form into our next tropical system, our six named storm of the tropical season that just began June 1st. Uh, if it did get named, it would be named Faye. It's a sixth on the list, but it's still not formed quite yet. It has to organize a little bit more, but it is in that warm water. So it's possible. Now, as we look at our temperatures throughout the region, we are still stuck in the mid 70s right now. So it's still a very humid, hazy night out there. Only those rain cooled areas getting some relief over in Randolph County. Hour by hour model for tomorrow morning. We are sitting nice and dry in the low 70s to begin our day into the afternoon. Once again, we could have some isolated downpours spring up thanks to that humid, moisture rich environment. Other than that, uh, things will start to quiet down just as they did tonight and yesterday after the sun begins to set. This is Friday morning where we start off with sunny skies once again. Now overnight tonight, some of you that did see that rain and have that sopping wet ground, you could be dealing with some fog issues for tonight. Otherwise, temperatures will be in the low 70s and the high cloud cover really isn't that bad. The high skies are nice and clear. It's that low dense fog that you have to worry about. Speaking of that heat wave, we have been stuck in the 90s for the past seven days. It was only today that here in Harrison County, we cracked that 90 degree mark, went back into the upper 80s but 89 might as well round it up to 90. In fact, some areas, Morgantown, Buchanan, and the surrounding region did reach into the low 90s for today. This is just data for here in Harrison County. So I'm still counting today as part of that heat wave. And tomorrow we have this heat advisory. That's for a great portion of our area, basically Lewis County and over uh, Lewis County, Marion County, Harrison County, Monongalia, and heading westward all under that heat advisory for tomorrow. What does that mean? Well, it means that our heat index values will be in the hundreds, our feels like temperature, and it all comes down to our own body's air conditioning system. What do I mean by that? Well, we sweat for a reason. Our bodies like to stay below 100 degrees, around 98.6 usually. Uh, we know that right now, taking our temperatures all the time. When our body temperature rises, we begin to sweat. That's our body's way of cooling ourselves down. The problem begins when we have that humidity in the air, that sweat does not evaporate, and that's when we run into some problems. So for tomorrow, anybody sensitive to the heat, you could have some issues, stay in the air conditioner, stay hydrated, 90s begin to break as we enter into the weekend.